I V M. Long ago, three young men decided to form an alliance and get into a future. The three men were Amar Akbar Anthony, and the film, of course, was beautiful. But we have three other men who formed Geek Fruit. Not so interesting story, but their future is all about science fiction, nerd culture, and comic books. That's right. If you are too lazy to read a full book, read a comic book. If you are too lazy to read a comic book, let Geek Fruit tell you about a comic book and comic books. New episodes out on the IVM podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. <laughs> All right. Please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? And that's what Cyrus says. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, hi. All right. So cool. This is a podcast recording. It's called Cyrus Says. How many of you all have heard the podcast before? Make some noise. Ooh. It's- Nice, awesome. Uh, so once again, thank you for coming out. Uh, so now, without further ado, please start clapping, make some noise. I need some more enthusiasm in the middle over here. Clap, 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 make some noise for the man of the hour, Mr. Cyrus Brocha. Stop clapping. It's not that good a show. Uh, I want to just mention: keep your phones on. I'll just reverse all his orders. Okay, as a very amateur, easy-going production. So phones on, legs up, relax. No need for underwear in this kind of uh, production. Just absolutely feel you're at home or at somebody else's home where you misbehave even more. All right, and who are these lovely people? Photographers, right? No famous people. It's just me. Okay, how are you doing, everybody? What are your views on politics? Anybody interested? Yeah. Huh? Anybody know anything about politics? Who's the vice president of India? Who's Who's the governor of Maharashtra? Governor Mizoram, IIT, na? My mom told me IIT. They are the smart ones, not like you, idiot. One year LLB, the government law college that too. You just need influence to pass. No, no worries. All good. Everybody happy? Come on, talk to me for a minute before we call them on. Let's hear some noise. How many leopards on campus? Then get admission, na? Huh? So tough in IIT. Crocodiles, crocodiles. Girls. More crocodiles or girls? <laughs> nothing has changed. I mean, coming up from 1997, nothing has changed. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do here? The podcast is called Cyrus Says, and we talk to people. Uh, we've got somebody from the BJP who's just dropped something out of the pressure of the Gujarat elections. <laughs> And we've got somebody from uh, what is known as the PP, Papu Party, uh, <laughs> Congress. He's outside. So <laughs> we are a peaceful country, we are democracy. So please encourage them to fight, and scream, and shout, and enjoy yourself. All right. Sorry, we have nobody from any other party because they make no sense whatsoever coming here. <laughs> the Samajwadi Party office is shut, as far as I'm told. As far and the left has left the country and gone to North Korea. So this is all we've got. So let's now welcome and be nice. She's a really lovely lady, Shazia. Uh, before I call Shazia Elmi, let me just tell you about her. She's an Indian politician, which means she has bodyguards. That's that's the difference between you, me, and them. Bodyguards. She's a former television journalist and anchor at Star News. All right, over ten years there, uh, she was a spokesperson for the India Against Corruption, a movement which will see some success in fifty years. She worked very closely with Anna Hazare. Uh, in 2011 and 2012, Anna Hazare is 150 years old. By the way, <laughs> she was a member of the Aam Aadmi Party's national executive, but nobody's left there now, <laughs> except for Mr. Kejriwal. But she left the party in May 2014 and joined the BJP in January 2015 at a reduced salary. Okay, let's call on stage. Should we call her? Yeah. But what are the options? We have to call her. Shazia, help me, ladies and gentlemen. Shazia. <laughs> It's a very, very decent crowd. They're very nice, so. very pro the center. Ah, huh? IIT is always pro the center. God, awkward moment number one. No, no, sit, sit, sit. Well, we have to ask them. It's their audience will do. Sit or stand. They're, they're very sexist. See, I'll tell you the problem. There are no women. There are very few women on campus. So you, you, they want you to stand. They want him to sit. 
Yeah, it's, it's terrible. People don't bring their mothers uh, to visit also. <laughs> line, 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 line. Don't cross the line. Now let's talk about Sanjay Jha. Uh, this man is upset and leaving already. <laughs> Sanjay Jha is the executive director of the world famous Dale Carnegie Training Operations in India. Okay, there are four people training under him at the moment. He is also the national spokesperson of the Indian National Congress Party, which is older than Anna Hazari by four months. <laughs> he has made several contributions to mainline news and business dailies and magazines. You know, correcting grammar, that kind of thing. He has written a cricket anthology titled 11 Triumphs, Trials and Turbulence in Indian Cricket. The title is longer than the book itself. Okay, but he's a very famous spokesperson. He's on the channel every day as is Shazia. And they fight with so many different people. And they're here to talk about Indian politics, the scene that 2018 is going to be, which leads us to 2019. So let's call. Are there any Biharis here? So, yaar, come on. to hai na. Show some respect. Sanjay Jha. Are you shouting Modi? <laughs> <laughs> what a I'm crowd, man. You. This is going to be fun. Sanjay, please sit. Yep. And uh, the two young gentlemen who have just left the RSS to join us for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he was thrown out of the RSS for being too colorful, right? <laughs> okay, let's start first. Uh, a quick introduction. Uh, this is going to be a fun show, so let's have fun. We cannot mention... We cannot mention Arnav Goswami more than three times. <laughs> oh. See, I'm just the net. You all are playing. Okay. I don't mention Modi. You might get an FIR. Ah! <laughs> See, I told you they'll have fun. So please don't leave. Because you mentioned Rahul. Come back. Okay, let's start the ball rolling. Yeah, so the membership drive is open. Hurry up. Yeah. Okay, we, we'll speak about that immediately. The membership drive has grown. Shaja, let's be honest. Gujarat uh, 9980 is not like India Sri Lanka, which is like 502. You know, 9980 was a close fight. At one point, they were almost leading. So, were you a little shocked? A little surprised? You well, big, so, strong BJP government? So, that was my tweet. 915, Congress party <laughs> felt that EVMs are not working. 925 AM. Congress party started thinking that EVMs have started working well. 9.45, 9.45 a.m. in the morning. Congress party thought EVMs have been reformed. But 10 a.m., my dear friends, the EVM had faulted again. It was a fault of election commission and BJP won. Fair and square. <laughs> I may have felt that TV channels weren't working either. By then, <laughs> Mr. Some Jha. Were, some weren't. Mr. But, Jha, is this true? Well, no, well, to be honest, a lot of protesting happened uh, uh, 24 hours previous. Like she mentioned, EVMs, etc., etc., etc. And then suddenly you look like you're winning, and everyone went quiet, and then again the complaints. Well, I can tell you the best thing about the Gujarat results was that uh, it was proven that Dr. Manmohan Singh was not a traitor. <laughs> number two, number two, I think uh, Shazi has actually taken my line away. The EVMs actually are a little suspicious, undoubtedly. I mean, uh, after... No. <laughs> You're at technology. The heart of technology is here. No, are the EVMs uh, faulty or not? No. Have any of you handled an EVM? <laughs> what rubbish? You handle EVMs. These are the best... Have you, have you paid for this audience? You paid for this audience. Not in the least, but... <laughs> so, many results have gone against the BJP. So, when Ahmed Patel won the Rajya Sabha, fair and square, I would say, BJP protested. It was the election commission which said, refuse the petition, which means that it is not biased at all. So, please attack the BJP. Do not attack the constitutional positions of our country. And okay. do not accuse the electoral process. <laughs> Okay, and now you know it is a little rich. It is wait, a wait, wait. No, let's it? explain to them what's happening. Yeah. Shaja is not representing the BJP; she is representing technology now <laughs> at IIT. Country, no, country but, first, country first. Well, I can tell all you the parties later, including BJP and Congress. Okay, but I can tell you this for a fact, guys. I mean, I'm sure you know about it. You don't need me to elaborate it. 
But the truth is, it's rather rich for the BJP to talk about institutions and constitutional authority because the Reserve Bank of India today, by the way, doesn't declare its report for almost a year on demonetization. Because <gasps> we don't you know can't why. mention that word. By the way, the chief election commissioner is now being questioned. You have any authority in this country today is under severe fear. And you have a media house that every day comes at 9 o'clock in the night. And instead of saying the you nation can't wants... You can his name. And I'm not saying. Instead of saying the nation wants to know, it tells you that the nation belongs to Narendra Modi. Now, this is the reality we live in. God bless us all. Okay, but the point... So, in a way, we're saying that not just few people over there were sh- chanting Modi, Modi. Modi, Modi chant is being heard no, sh- in sh- the RBI sh- office, sh- ji, that, that, in the election commission, in the Supreme Court, sh- ji, that, in the High Court, uh, everywhere. So no, no, the, and mi- in the media channels. So what are we discussing? You misunderstood. One of their classmates is Lokesh Modi. He's a different thing altogether. <laughs> Good one. I can see it. I can see it. No, my point is, were you all worried? Because uh, everybody thought it was a no contest. Say one year ago, it would be a no contest. The BJP behemoth was just charging ahead. And the Congress was really fluctuating, don't mind. And things were not, look- <laughs> things were not looking good. And they put up a pretty good fight in the end, you know. They I mean, did. It was a good they fight. Did, to be fair, they put a very good fight. And that's how democracy should be. So one party should be kept on its toes. And the other party should make a strong presence. We are all for Congress doing well. Very well fought. And, uh, as long I, as you I, come second. <laughs> but there was a close margin so I'll give you that and I think we should be fair I don't think the level should be uh, I think we should concede gracefully and humility should be there both in victory and in defeat uh-huh. so I would say that uh, quick response uh, uh, humility mission 150 Congress booked Bharat that is humility for you ladies and gentlemen yeah literally destroy Gandhi in one minute one minute this is humility <laughs> Congress Bharat. booked Bharat if Mr. Chahar has become synonymous with minute, Congress, what let's do we do? Obliterate <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, I miss that. You know, you, you know, the, bad. The, the truth is that here is a party uh, whose Prime Minister, our Prime Minister, says obliterate the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. Completely discredited. Not at all. Every Swash Bharat Abhiyan has spectacles of Mahatma Gandhi just everywhere. Just a minute. That and guys, not... since you are from IIT, no, I we sound like a channel. Guys, one minute. Your time, huh? no, I have to make this point. Yeah. They discredit Jawaharlal Nehru. Ladies and gentlemen, you are IIT. Jawaharlal Nehru founded IIT. And they want to discredit Nehru. I mean, what are we talking about? To be about? honest, he was searching for the airport and then he came here. But that's another story. <laughs> No, but I, but, I, but I think we are living in times of a reality TV show. I'm telling you, I go on television every day. I'm going beyond it. Indian politics has never been better as a theater of the absurd, where you have for the first time, and I need to mention this point before we get into the fun, frivolous, and the flippant stuff, that when a prime minister of the country accuses a former prime minister, who happens to be, by the way, one of the most respected people whom Barack Obama said about him when Dr. Manmohan Singh speaks, the world listens. And when he's accused of hatching a conspiracy... See, the problem... The the problem... The problem... No, no, but Barack Obama gave many more hugs to PM Modi. But the problem here is that not that he doesn't speak. We just can't hear him. That was the problem. (laughs) But, 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 you know what? At the end of the day, I mean, uh, hugoplomacy has its limitations. But the fact is, the jappy puppy stuff we'll get into. But Whoa! Doctor, doctor, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jappy and puppy. puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Cyrus in between. So, aapka but, kene ka hai, sir, that you're not happy with the hugging. <laughs> get to the point. Yeah. Get but to the I can point. tell you, it has had no material impact. But the truth is to accuse him of sitting in Delhi, having dinner in a publicly known private event, if I can use that term, not, no secrecy, and to say, hang on, Dr. Manmohan Singh was hatching a conspiracy to defeat the BJP and put another person as the chief minister in Gujarat. And for God's no. sake, what does Mr. Modi have for breakfast? But I think mudslinging well, now is... Well, whatever it is, is, is holding him in good stead because he's working like no one else does. <laughs> Okay, let's do 25 hours stuff. a day and all that. But let's understand the audience for a second, Shazia. How many are BJP supporters? How many are Congress supporters? How many are just how many are just wearing supporters? Okay. So I, so I see Sanjay, I think we should talk about other things other than politics. Because we're, we're out now. Let's talk about Rohit Sharma. I think that's the same thing. <laughs> Okay, we'll move away from Gujarat. We'll Let's just talk about Anushka and Virat. Huh? Virushka. Uh, 
How many BJP people were invited to the wedding? I was not. How many Congress were invited to the wedding? I was here. Mr. Gandhi was in his office. Where is his office? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move it along. Gujarat, good fight. You've accepted. You've allowed that. I think with grace. It's a. It's good for Indian politics. It's a, I mean, that's the Prime Minister's bastion. And the good fight there. 2019 is open, which yeah. leads me to the next point. Shashya, tell us when uh, after 2014, the mandate that you all got uh, was unbelievable. I think un- unprecedented. But coming to 2019, are we going to be in a bit of a dog fight? It's going to be close. Well, it will be close, I think. And I don't want to mince my words. There are a lot of challenges. A lot of things have happened. But also, after five years, a certain degree of incumbency leads to anti-incumbency. So, obviously, a lot of so things to be done. No, no, no. I'm saying this sets in because people expect much more. So, BJP will have to really uh, pump up its act, you know. To defend and the do, do a lot more. It is doing a lot. Uh, there are a lot of wonderful new schemes. Whether it's Mudra, Yojana, Jandhan, Ujwala. And I don't want to make it very political and talk about startup. And no, their case studies of... are very boring anyway. No? <laughs> <laughs> no so, so I think it's going to be a, a good fight. We look forward to it. And I think for the first time, the attention is going away from this whole Jati Vaad, Dharam Ki Rajniti to civil rights. <laughs> What's in it for me? Do I have a bank account? Do I have an Shaza, please in, stop. Do I, am I as a consumer, am I protected? Shaza is like Raju Srivastav now. He's yeah. laughing. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, like I, I mean, she's doing a better job than you, Cyrus. I mean, I couldn't she's funny as what you You think she's funny? No, but, but see this. <laughs> but, but, Thank but, you. But, that was gracious of no, you. No, but hang on, hang on, hang on. What about Here me? you have a prime minister who goes in a speech in Gujarat and says, Bhaiyo or Beno, you have a mandir or a masjid. And you say that you have a dharm ki rajniti. But it was Rahul who went temple hopping. What are you talking about? It was Rahul. Let's hear, let's hear the report. One minute, right. one minute. Just a minute, just a minute. You have the BJP spokesperson calling Shri Rahul Gandhi, Babbar Bhakt, Alauddin Khilji ke pote. I mean, the language used by the okay. BJP. Yeah, one minute, just, just a minute. No, I think my, it's my, my, a message. And this is you guys, I'm telling you. I'm sure in the audience, we have people from all the states in India. Probably all communities in India. Tell me one thing. Should you go out tomorrow into this great country and then look at your neighbor and say, you know what, I should be worried that he is Muslim, he is Christian, he is Sikh. Is this the India you want to build? Frankly, frankly, beyond... So I- let me tell you, there's life beyond, you know, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. No, you can't say that here. No, no, no. There's, there's, I'm telling you. They have not taken a day off in 10 years. You can't say that here. Sanjay. No, I, I'll tell you why. Because, let so, me tell you, before, before so Shazia, Shazia, one last line. <laughs> you know, this, this government, by the way, Mr. Modi is teaching us one thing. That before you live in a society, you live in an economy. And that is, by the way, the biggest disservice is doing to the young of India. Because you first live in a society. There's brotherhood. There's our neighbor. There's religious tolerance. There's no caste issues. But here, it's all about GDP. It's all about FDI. It's all about GST. You'll never hear people talk about gender inequality. You'll never hear the government talk about... Triple the talaq, the bill is nothing. there, is making, being nothing. made into a law. Okay, okay. so no. So this the leads a detailed accusation response. accusation is it's all money, money, money. And not about the social fabric so of the country. So I will talk about it. Swaj Bharat, where four crore toilets have been made. Shajal, Swaj Bharat, I've seen it. Nothing happened. No, four crore Kuch toilets nahi have been made. It's the same. It gives a lot of dignity. But I want to point Nepal out... Nepal is cleaner. I want to point out to a cartoon I saw. It says, Mandir, Mandir, Baat Chali Hai, Pata Chala Hai, Janeu Pahen Kar Phool Khila Hai, Phool Khila Hai. So, who went temple hopping? Who went ashram hopping? And while this temple hopping was going on in, in, in Gujarat at such a crazy frenetic level, same time, Kapil Sibbal was saying, on behalf of Sunni Vakbord and Vakbord saying, we did not want it, that let's uh, defer so. the temple uh, verdict. So there is complete confusion in whether you want the temple or don't want the temple. And suddenly the Geneva pictures came up and Shiv Bhakti was remembered. So that well, was hilarious. Well, that was hilarious. Well, well, so there is to some confusion no, no, within the to be honest. And for one years, one Muslims one are like, read the Rajinder Sachar committee report, all of you, and see where the Congress rule states have been and what has been the status of Muslims. Muslims are, don't, are not vote banks. They want to be bank managers today. They refuse to be just vote banks and just to be used and sucked from a vampire with the bogey of RSS and evil. They have to be given jobs. They have to be given employment. They have to be treated at power, which is what this government does. Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, Dalit, Muslims, all, 
yes economy will propel us but forward Shaji, and bring better you are sounding like a doordarshan announcer yaar i mean you sound so you sounding Shaji, you sound like a one second. rahul stooge one second, one second, but uh, rss has Dynasty a bank rss stooge uh, i didn't follow that rss has a bank <laughs> <laughs> well rss cadres work and they work very hard and it is it, it, they, they live in a very austere way so i don't know about banks but yeah there is a there is a bank of intellectual vote bank of uh, a community that believes in taking the country forward nation development and yes it is nationalist in the way it looks anyway, Shazia, nation first is what Shazia, they need charge after listening to your long spiel and i'm just thinking i'm reminded of the famous song which i don't know where your parents would know you may not know it says सजन रे झूठ मत बोलो खुदा के पास जाना है ना हाथी है ना घोड़ा है वहां पैदल ही जाना है आई एम टेलिंग यू आई एम सॉरी मास्क राइट नरेंद्र मोदीज मास्क फॉर ट्राइंग टू बी दिस बिग डेवलपमेंट मास्टर इज नाउ ऑफ in the gujarat election no. one minute in the gujarat election the prime minister who very conveniently took on ye mere right wing fringe chalate hain a, a, a poor guy is burned to death in rajasthan the prime minister will not say a word a young boy is lynched to death in haryana pradhan mantri kuch nahi kahenge the, by the way the people like you and me you know i look at pradhan mantri ne saaf aur par gorakhsha par cyrus you and me are hai. highly privileged The, no, I no, think no, the people here. One minute, one minute, one minute. I came by. I, I, one minute. I think. Don't... I think all of you here are the future. You're privileged. Just think of a poor guy who is going to, you know, just fulfill his household chore on a suspicion of being a beef trader is lynched to death. I want you to think for yes, 15 seconds. Yes, and that has seconds. nothing to do with one BJP minute. or the Before prime minister. Before the chaos here takes yes. over, internally reflect. Ignore all three of us and tell me. If it was your you partner, or one of your Akhilesh, family, Akhilesh would you say that is the India of my dreams? Is that the India of my dreams? Is that the India of my dreams? Sanjeev, Sanjeev, let's Shazia talk so now. Then this happened with Aklaq. It was your very dear friend, Rahul ji's fellow uh, Shahzada, Akhilesh Yadav, <laughs> who was oh. a chief minister at that point of time, who was responsible because law and order is a state subject. Prime Minister How not convenient. once but thrice has said. nobody has a right to indulge in violence. Those people who are claiming to protect cows are actually miscreants of the society. Please Google while you Google other things. Madam, I'm looking at you. Madam, <laughs> and, what do you mean, hey, Sanjay? Google other things. Sanjay, uh, I will put my mobile phone here. My my mobile phone is here. Yeah. And Sanjay, and, Sanjay, no, Sanjay you talk about Google, guys. You can Google the BJP. Who threw Anna Hazare in the jail? The man, party. the people who threw Ram Devi in the jail. Congress party. Come on, calm down. One minute. One minute. No, 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 no. Congress we party. have to have it. Who did it? Has to have it. Green. We have to have it. Congress party. By the way, let me tell you. One minute. One minute. We have to have it here. Who did it? Let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. Who did it? Salman Rushdie, Tasneema Nazir, Anna Hazare, Amar Ram, Asim Khan, Congress party. Hang on. Let's go back. Emergency. Congress party. Now one minute. This is not Congress party. By the way, by the way, Congress party. By the way, 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 To the people Man, who boy, killed him. No, Can you BJP imagine? did not do that. Can you imagine? Sanjay, Sanjay, let's sit. Sanjay, let's sit. Behave yourselves. Behave. Don't get me angry. I was hoping they would uh, have some decorum and behave like students, but unfortunately, they're very emotional. But I think it's only because they're trying to represent their parties. Think of it more like Manu versus Man City. I think it's easier. <laughs> Manu. Okay, Manu, Man City. Man City number one at the moment. But that's true. Oh, oh, loyalist. Okay, now let's just move it a little ahead towards 2019 as we were talking. What is the Congress going to do now? What is your uh, sort of strategy, game plan? One, two. Why is it only Rahul Gandhi? Why do they ever don't push anybody else up? No, I tell you, the answer to that is very simple. I mean, it's yes. not Sir, it's not just Gujarat. Uh, we believe if you look at many of the results that have happened across states in India, there's a massive shift going on. I'm very confident, extremely confident that people have seen the BJP for what it is, and Shazia is a brilliant manifestation of it. TV per hero, 
जमीन पर जीरो अरे नो बॉल नो बॉल फ्री हिट फ्री नो बॉल ओके ओके कैंड अलाउ दिस नॉट डन no 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 i i sanjay sanjay let's keep it simple no, 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 you're having fun here no 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 no, ah. no i'll tell you why i'll tell you why the reason is very straight forward you know the only contribution that the bjp has made to india is a word that i had never heard of although i come from a hindi speaking state it's called jumla i don't know how many of Are. you have heard it before i didn't But today I'll give you just a couple of examples. Jumla like no, Mota Sautagar. Shazia. Jumla like who? One, 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 one minute. Shazia. Who's other Jumla's no, no, coming one, one, from? One minute. One minute. Jumla. I remember Shazia. <laughs> Shazia was part of the agitation that I believe brought down the Congress government in 2014. It started in 2011. She was a passionate fighter, and I congratulate you for that struggle. Where they fought against corruption. Nobody's got any arguments against it. Our government, by the way. got damaged corruption government this is a pathetic government blah 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 but we passed the lokpal in 2013 4 years ago i want all of you here to ask shazia admit this question 4 saal ho gaye hamari sarkar haar gayi but ek minute 4 saal ke baad wo lokpal ka hai bhai can anybody find the lokpal anyone we did it away from lokpal lokpal there's no need for the lokpal if there was no, there won't be any black money Where people will actually deposit money and they'll have, they'll pay taxes on it to make sure that the system is is not corrupt. So do we have Lokpal? But Lokpal, Lokpal, the, the rational was Lokpal. The rational was Lokpal was Arvind Kejriwal. He was promising that and he diluted it. BJP did not promise Lokpal. BJP promised structural reforms. In oh, Lokpal. didn't BJP promise Lokpal? Structural yes. reform. And you see the structural no, 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 reform. One minute, one minute. That's why these all motherhood the statements, guys. You are tech guys. That's why BJP is winning everywhere. Structural reform. That's why BJP no, 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 is winning right. everywhere. Okay. The Jumla and the Mukhota that you talk about. Well, well, can I ask you a question? It's something that an arm in San believes in. No, no, Shahzad. That's Shazia. why. Okay, guys. Shahzad. No, let me finish. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, okay. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Shahzad, please. And you, you are very rude in the way you said that you are the heroes out. Side and zero. Sanjay, say sorry. No, no, don't say sorry. Okay, don't it say is, sorry. It is Rahul Gandhi <laughs> who is the hero within the Congress. Okay, but wait, wait. the zero. Everybody say sorry. Come on. <laughs> it is Rahul Gandhi who is only a hero in in the dynast run uh, Congress party. But it's shameful that the long the oldest party in the largest democracy can only look at one dynasty in one parivar to have an adhyaksh. Okay, it is shameful. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. All of them, I'm sure, are smarter than Rahul Gandhi. Shahzad, to be also, fair, it works chance. very well in North Korea. Ah, huh? same family, hundred years now. Yeah. I, I want to answer that in brief, and I don't need to say any more thing on the on the dynasty argument. They have borrowed Maneka Gandhi and Firoz Varun Gandhi. So no, let's no. not even get you into that. You throw out Maneka Gandhi. No, no, let's. You got Varun Gandhi and Maneka Gandhi anything. from the Gandhi family. We're not in borrowing. And if I start, by the way, Pankaja Munde, Puna Mahajan. Raman Singh sir so why do they leave you what are you talking why about do they don't, why do they leave you anyway, why do they want to be with the, you listen there's Lokpal. one there's one Rita larger Bhav- point on kada why did rita bhavuna leave you guys guys i okay. want you to answer this i want this the two panelists to message uh, all these questions to each other later because the audience is getting bored no 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 i want to tell something on de- on this black money guys are you getting bored message no cyrus give me 5 seconds okay 5 seconds you saw my wife black money guys oh. black money aapke account mein 15 lakh rupaye aa gaye आ गए नहीं आएंगे मैं बताता हूँ क्यों नहीं आएंगे न खाऊंगा न खाने दूंगा ना खाऊंगा मैं खाऊंगा और पेट भर खाऊंगा आई टेल यू द रीजन वाई वर्क डी मोनिटाइजेशन पर्सनल रिमार्क नो वन मिनट डी मोनिटाइजेशनबल शाजिया मनीष शंकर अयर कॉल राहुल गांधी और Who side is he on? Let me tell you this. It's all about the medication. Arun Shuri. They don't take the medication. They don't know what they're saying. Arun Shuri. Arun Shuri went on record to say that demonetization is the biggest money laundering scheme since independence. And he was, by the way, yes. a former finance minister of the BJP yes, government. Yes, Chidambaram also said that. And I tell you that. the reason why. After looting I'll all the money, the Chidambaram why. said this is a money looting scheme. <laughs> okay, so that is the reality. Karthi Chidambaram okay, is saying, "Oh, what plunder is this?" Let's stop uh, name country. calling and pointing out the mistakes of both sides, yeah. and let's try to go forward to the people here. This is Mood sure. Indigo. It's a very happy occasion. <laughs> uh, for the first time on campus, there are twenty percent women. Right, <laughs> so lot more of boys, women, please, more lot girls. of men are thinking positively. So let's keep that positive energy. So we're going to allow you to ask questions, but not too many. Okay, the girls will ask questions. Ask, ask some nice questions. Don't make them fight. That's all. Okay. So who wants to ask <laughs> questions? I want to clarify. Shahzad is a friend. No matter what we raise, raise your hand. Raise your hand. 
There's a young girl in front who studied politics and by mistake landed up here. She's sure. Sure. We'll pass the mic on to anybody who has questions. Raise your hand and we'll... Can we have the house lights on? Thank you. Uh, we've Can seen a lot just of... Just say your name as well, please. I'm Anya. I I am in class 8. Class 8? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> class 8? She's a minor. We can't even talk to her. <laughs> Under the present government. <laughs> Haan, bolo, bolo. I, I've, I've been uh, reading and you know, a lot say, saying that I've, I've noticed something in every government that comes. I'm very young, but whatever I've seen, I've seen ki sab log it next election ki tayari karte hai. Koi, Good point. Good abhi, point. Straight abhi, to the next five years. Well abhi, done. In standard. Abhi, 2017, 2016, uh, before 2014. They've jumped to 2019. It was ki, 2014 ka election jitna hai, we'll do whatever it takes to win the election which is coming next. Now you're asking, ki, 2019 mein kya karenge? Ka kisi ko nahi karna hai, kya? So why are we not focusing on the present? Very good question. <laughs> but both parties Absolutely. are already talking to the you know, What's mania, 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 mania. Mania, you have a very good question. I actually believe, and there was an all-party meeting, that all the parties are constantly in election mode. And I think that should change. There, there should be one election in five years for all center and state. There is a move that is being made because I really feel that all legislators, this is not about BGP or Congress, should concentrate on governance, on the people, on the real issues, and not about campaigning constantly and keeping the election machinery going. So I can see... But Shazia, you're Maya. in the government and it's your government. Yeah. So, so point is what's happening. So they all know about it. It is the Prime Minister who's mooted this idea and has called for an all-party meeting. And now the election commission is actually saying that this could be a possibility. So we need more consensus from other parties. Just shout loudly because we have only one mic in a technology place like this. <laughs> oh, PT Usha, PT Usha. <laughs> I'm also saying that instead of like elections, agar paanch saal mein bhi hote hai, tabhi hai paanchho saal yehi tayari karo ki 2019 mein kya karna hai. You, ab kuch bhi karo. You, you do anything. No. You will only plan for the next election. You're not going to do anything for today. Wow. And we've all... Whoa. Boom, 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 boom. Be it any party, be it Aam Admi Party, Congress, BJP, TMC, any party, they'll only prepare for... Hey, TMC is where it comes the regional party. There is no election in any place. She's from Bengal. <laughs> Mania, Mania, listen. Mania from 8th Standard, a minor. Let me tell you this. That bottom line, the reason why we prepare for future elections is because I can't now change the Gujarat election result. So you have to always look to the future. But the fundamental point, I agree with you. That, but you did know, somebody change the result? No, no one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, that was the first question, right? Now, the point is very straightforward. I agree with you completely. I mean, the, the, the current government, I feel, Not is definitely... One government, minute, one minute. Government. A, no, current government deferred parliament, deferred parliament for the Gujarat election. And I think that was an unhealthy trend. I mean, governments can come and governments can go. After all, governments are like underpants, right? You need to change them from time to time. But the truth is, but the truth is, and for the same reason, right? But the truth oh. is, that end of day... Sanjay! No, no, that's a fact. Uh, uh, is this a manifesto for 2019? No, no. <laughs> Guys, Cyrus, I'm referring to the stink which is around at the moment, but that's another story. Uh, the truth is very straightforward. This that is I agree with you completely that today everyone is in an events. election mode and governance suffers big time. I totally agree with you. But anyway, they don't care to answer. You can't but, vote. But I want to say one thing to Ma- Mania. Such a good... Mania, you'll really give uh, not just Arnav Goswami, Navika, Barkha, Rajdeep a run for their money. So Become a TV anchor. And then join Aam Aadmi Party and then BJP. <laughs> and then vote for the Congress. Yeah, go ahead. Aiga, Baba, Aiga. <laughs> that is so not happening. Chalo, somebody... Uh, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Manan Gandhi and uh, I am a big fan of Mr. Modi. My question is to Shazia, ma'am. Uh, of, of who? Of Mr.? Ma'am, can you elaborate the section 52 of FRDA Bill Act, which is uh, uh, passing on bail and bailing okay. procedure? So, so is- there, is, there are a lot of canards that have been spread about this particular bill. In fact, BJP office, if you see Amit Malvi's tweet and even mine, 
you will realize that the whole lot of canards are there there is no, no, no not going to be any interference by the government to look into personal accounts as it is being said please read it in entirely uh, and a lot of things are untrue so can uh, you elaborate in basic uh, uh, that everyone will understand what the is opposition wants to elaborate boss i can tell you your apprehensions today are being echoed by 130 crore depositors across the country the biggest fear this you have today that this department of congress this government will know the says when it comes one minute there this government wants to it. bail out the banks and help some of the biggest crony capitalists of this country to Which get free money from the public sector banks. Which is why all the banks are in a state of fear. They want to take your and my money, your parents' hard-earned money. They want to take your parents' hard-earned money. It's a fact. It's a better question. What is your account number? It would have happened. Then she'll be able to take care of it, huh? He's only worried about his personal account. You huh? are absolutely justified in this, but let I me will, tell you, the opposition uh, is fighting your case. What's your name? Case. I will, I will tell you the bill and the whatever's but being Chaja, said Kuchi, offline. I will. Everyone is scared about this. The fact that all the information goes to one person. But yeah. please, please do some research. These are all canards. This is not even the bill. It's in. Excuse this me. This is being. This is being. Is it a draft bill? Draft bill. But what is being said that the government can interfere? No, but that's you have said it in the bill. No, but see the draft. So can the government interfere or not? Yeah. No, it will not. It cannot. That Even Bill Clinton so, agrees with this. I'll call Mania back. There is a big lot of misinformation about it. I will sit with you right now and give you all the details. Because sir, I will sit with you. Are you veg or non veg? Chalo, next, next, come. We have five minutes left. <laughs> yes, a gentleman in the economy class at the back is uh, sitting. Ye to economy nahi hai. He's from the Hindu. Hi, uh, uh, my name is Prashant. I'm a freelance. Uh, my question is: a lot of things are happening in Mumbai. Okay, there are a lot of. My issue is up with RA. Okay, what are we doing about it? Because there are a lot of uh, politics and a lot of things are happening. Uh, the three-hectare plot, which is there in RA, which is yeah, but that's not really Shazia's uh, exactly. concern. She might not know. She all, doesn't all know. The details details about about it. Let me find you out. Want Sanjay to answer? We can answer it. I mean, no. uh, see, the well, I'll answer that. Question. He'll answer for the BJP. The reason why I'm asking. If you don't mind. I agree with you. She's from Delhi, Baba. BJP, this is a local uh, point. No, no, no. Let okay, me know can I more facts this? and I can get back. Okay, to you. quickly explain the RA issue. So the thing is, they are create, uh, they are making this RA car depot in RA. Okay, uh, metro car depot in RA, and that's the densely forest area. That's they're the taking of, away the area, uh, the Mumbai. forest. Okay. Yeah. Now there is one more plot which is in Kanjur Mark, which is supposed they are supposed to shift that RA, the car shed in Kanjur Mark, which they are not doing it, and uh, there are a lot of activists who are struggling for it. But there is nothing happening. I mean, uh, what is BJP? They shift the activists so, so from RA to Kanjurma. See, I'm not seized of the matter. I think all civil activists should really put a big petition, take it up, and make They've a done that. make a presentation to Devendra the Fadnavis. They even right? danced and, and painted in the area. And they even sang Dil Pukare RA. Ah ha! In harmony. <laughs> <laughs> no, but can I answer that because I happen to know about this issue? I think the problem is when you have governments obsessed with growth. You know, you keep hearing growth, because, because. Vikas Gandho Thayo Che, you might have heard of that as well. The truth is, the truth is very straightforward. You ignore social cost, environmental cost, at a great disservice to the future generations. But I can tell you, not just the BJP, the entire political system worldwide. You have, by the way, the most powerful man in the world who believes that climate change. is not a problem right so the reality is the political system will never pay attention to environment and therefore the so current generation energy protocol was hard. signed by this government which says that by 2030 all cars will be electrified if not all electric cars and that is a priority if you see rural electrification some of the best work has been done by this ministry no, if you see the renewable sources and alternate fuels uh uh the government is doing a stellar job and in delhi stellar job and in delhi it is a fact and you please check the records of both piyush goyal and nitin gadkari <laughs> if you think india is going to afford elon musk's tesla cars forget it all this is very tall talk no, but i, I think own, the truth they is have own the government has ignored and i'm not saying that her government entirety all governments need to focus more on forest rights environment you guys are the future technocrats of the country and cycles you grow up Please remember, before you live in an economy, you live in a society. That's something you should never forget. But in IIT, it's a lovely society. Uh, They're okay. Society. Chalo, two more questions first. Yeah. Uh, my question is uh, for both of you. Uh, as uh, I am Congress supporter, not BJP supporter. Thank you. Two days ago, I delivered a speech on behalf of my college. I used to represent it, and it was just for corruption. So I thought many of your schemes regarding BJPs and Congress too. Uh, I will just uh, start from BJP. For example, uh, this is a question or a monologue? Actually, <laughs> I have done a great paperwork for this thing. Can you send an app or something in the half an hour? 
Okay, fast, fast, fast. Why not all the all the parties combined and just think for our country, India? Why are those the only parties? So why did you? I want to. I want to take. We should call it BJC, BJ Congress. I, I, of, you know, so I want to tell all of you one thing. I was a news anchor for many years. I jumped in only when Anna Hazare movement happened. And some of us are not career politicians. I really think all okay politicians will do their bidding. I'm in the BJP now. I'll do BJP's bidding. Sanjay will do his bidding. But what I find very strange today is as a student community, uh, professionals. Lawyers, civil society, technocrats are all taking sides. I think there's got to be more to us than just being a BJP voter or a Congress. We've got to be a, a, a global citizen and a true Indian and somebody who supersedes the identity of party politics, including the politicians. So I'm for that. I'm working for it within the party, and I totally subscribe to that. There has to be a better sense of bipartisanship and better camaraderie between uh, amongst all parties. Otherwise, this country will not go so forward. So basically, okay. party BGP should party also, together. Including, and okay. this is also for BJP. Uh, I want I want to give you a quick answer to that. I mean, I'm not going to make any mother. Thirty seconds, Sanjeev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will skip the motherhood statement of what the ideal world should be. The truth is, you know, let me tell you this to all of you. Competitive politics actually gives you options. You have an option, right? That's what competitive politics is all about. In America, it's between Democrats and Republicans. In the UK, you have the Labour and the Conservatives. In India, Congress, BJP, and a couple of other options. And Pakistan the, Army and somebody yeah, else. Yeah. The, yeah. The truth is, the truth. Therefore, I'll tell you, the answer lies that the BJP and in, and the Congress, we may accuse each other. They have their own model and their own belief of how India should be. Whether it's a Hindu Rashtra or whatever, that's their belief. Or it's 2G, or Commonwealth scams, or, and or, other scams. Or, now, the Congress's belief is probably inclusive growth and a more secular democracy, a liberal, progressive, tolerant yes, society. Minority the choice is for you to make. And, and I think between the choices you make, a system will emerge. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, it's a choice that you make that will determine the future of this country. And that's why condom ads are banned between uh, <laughs> 6 and 10. So, your choices afterwards. <laughs> okay, guys, we're running out of time, so last question, please. Sorry. Uh, okay, my name is Ruman Shah. Uh, my question is to Sanjay, sir. So, uh, the Congress Party has been criticizing the demonetization and GST a lot since a long time. So, how does a man in your position calculate the risk of doing nothing? <laughs> uh, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the answer to that is very straightforward. Either you have a choice of hitting the hammer on the head or the head on the hammer. That's what demonetization was all about. Demonetization, I can describe it as saying, guys, this is the path to hell and making you feel very excited to get there. That's what demonetization was all about. Stand in a queue, 140 people died, Kala Dhan mil jayega. So far, Kala Dhan is not come. The country's economy, by the way, has been derailed by 2%, which means and all of us, just one minute, which and all of us have lost around doing 3 lakh crores of money. The, the so just one minute, just one minute. On the, the demonetization, let go, you like it, don't even waste your time, is a monumental mammoth disaster. Let's not even talk about it. It'll be a case study in Harvard Business in the next six months. But as, least, far as, as far as GST is concerned, by the way, you talked about taking no risk. The Congress created the GST bill. The Congress has created and the architecture. Why did you now, call it number six tax by being part of it? We told it. the government. The Congress created God the BJP. Say, you're minute. making fun of we yourself. The, just a minute. Just a minute. We told the government, first learn to walk before you run. They were like, no, if we will do a midnight drama. A tryst with destiny, a repeat of 1947 was created. And now in six months, you have every time a new meeting saying khakra ka tax reduce kar do wo chapati mein ye badha do wo Ate, chocolate barfi mein badha do come on man what are we talking okay, about okay okay sanjay shaja last words from shaja please we are running out of so well the last words need not be political all i appeal to all of you young wonderful students there that please support parties according to cases and according to stands they take do not be blind followers go out there make your own path seek your own life and there is so much to be done Takat vatan ki tum se hai, himmat vatan ki tum se hai, insaan ke tum rakhwale. So you are the guys who are gonna go out there and call the shots. And Do don't think about 2019 yet. Mania said you have to <laughs> keep it behind. And be 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 a part of this change. You know, we have to transform this together. There are serious issues. There is poverty. There is open defecation. 
there is joblessness Girl we child. all have to work towards it and gender equity yes all of us can start doing that by by giving respect by treating women and girls final, as equal final uh, question like the only that way you will determine your your real one thing since i have been at uh, you know in your seat at some point although i never iit i never made it to iit i never made it to iit but i can tell you look at jobs if you don't get the jobs you deserve after all the hard work and slog you're doing and suffering Be a part people of like startup us, india and create if jobs if after suffering people like us you don't Make get the happen, job you guys. deserve you are the leaders the yeah one sec jobs or steve jobs what are you talking about <laughs> this is wrong market okay guys thank you the show is called cyrus says please give a big hand to shazia and to sanjay and to yourselves thank you very much sorry thank we don't have more time lots of questions but thank you and mood indigo rocks Good evening ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking sorry to say but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun as you can see there's death destruction and chaos taking place all around us but don't you worry food and drinks will be served shortly and i would recommend checking out ivm podcasts to get some of your favorite indian podcasts we'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over thank you